Praise the name of Jesus. Well, I just want to again appreciate everybody for coming. And uh, we, are, we, we have set aside this time to just be in the presence of the Lord as a family, as, a, as the Rag family. We've got a few of our members joining us from Abase Anki, and a few coming from uh, uh, Utenaik, where we just want to again rediscover what it means to be a church member, committing again to to this thing that we are all about, being in the, in the house of the Lord. Last, or yesterday, I said, let us confess something, and I'd like to, us to do that again. Please say after me, I believe. I believe. Number two, I belong. I belong. Number three, I serve, I serve sacrificially. Okay, now let's say like we mean it, say, I believe. I, believe. I, belong. I belong. And I serve sacrificially. For the last time, say, I believe, I, believe. I, belong, I belong, and I serve sacrificially. Praise the name of Jesus. Look to your neighbor and ask them, Makelwan, ask them, it's Makelwan. Do you go to church, or do you belong to one? Okay, do you go to a church? Mbuza, do you go to a church? Or do you belong to one? And then take it a step further. Say, ask them, do you understand what it means to belong to a local church? And then again, but this is what we are about now. This is what we are about. We are about understanding what it means to belong to a local church. It is possible for you to fall in love with a local church, get involved in the local church, and along the way, get used and get familiar with that local church and then end up forgetting what you actually came for. Just like any marriage relationship. Any marriage relationship, people, if they are not careful, they fall in love and people get excited. They have a beautiful wedding and then after a while, isn't just change. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Because they are still courting and they are still excited about one another. Give them two years if they are lucky or three years. And then some people say, Hey, and in Quentin and Tsumpa Yako. Kawiti man is a not doctor. Terele, lem shambi. Angan and Dwayenza, Yogul and Tsumpa Yako. What has happened? They have just gotten used and got familiar with one another. And so we want to stay saying uh, for keeps perpetually. That in Tsumpa Yako, for keeps. But for you to stay to do that, you have to come to meetings like this, where you are reminded again, and what does it mean to become a member of a church? Yesterday, I said it that being a member of a local church is a privilege. It is not a right, it is a privilege. The fact that you are here, the fact that I am here, it is a privilege that God has given to us. And so it is important for us to always appreciate it as such so that entitlement falls away. Uh, I am in the church and I am looking for what the church can do for me. But I am in this church and I must ask myself, what can I do for this church? Say after me, say church membership is an honor. Say it's a privilege and it is a joy. Amen. That is what church membership is about. Now, many churches, even in our country and in our city, they are weak today. They are not effective. They have not, there's no impact. They are not reaching the souls they are supposed to reach. For one reason, the members of that local church have lost the understanding of what it means to be part of the body of Christ. So that's why they have become weak. It is because they have lost their understanding. So we are believing God that over this weekend, 
that God is going to again open our eyes so that we are able to see what it means to become a member of the body of Christ so that when we are joined with the body of Christ that we are not there to fight for our rights. Every member in this body, your body, is not there to fight for its rights but it is there to serve the body. If you can look at your body, because the Bible says the, the, the church members of a local church, they are, they are parts of the body of Christ. They belong to the body of Christ. And they are parts of that body. Now, every part of your body is not there to fight for its rights. But every part of your body, uh, it, your, your, your body, the members of your body are not there to fight for their rights, but they are there to serve the body. Is it not so? Your eye is not there to fight for its rights. Your eye is there to see. Actually, when the eye is not working, it actually frustrates the other parts of the body. So if your foot has a problem, the whole body suffers because there is a problem somewhere. So every member of my body, every member of your body is there to serve your body. Every member of the body of Christ is there to serve the body of Christ. That is why I say we must understand that this starts by believing. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that he died for my sins, he rose again. I believe. Now after believing, belonging must come because you do not grow you cannot grow in Christ alone God works in us in at a place and that place is called the local church he doesn't work in a vacuum that is why those people who move from one church to another they never grow because they are not planted only a planted tree grows. At some point, you must be planted at, in some soil. You cannot be coming out of the loam soil to send the soil to clay soil and still expect to bear fruit. At some point, you must choose some soil. Nobody clay, nobody send, nobody loam, but is calm. In other words, you must get to a place where you do it. You belong. I belong here to, the, to this dark soil. This is my soil. I belong here. I am planted here. And for me to show, to give forth fruit, it will come from the place that I belong to. Everybody must be able to point a place they belong to. And now, after belonging must come service. It is not enough to believe. It is not enough to belong. But you must serve the place that you belong to. Let's say this after me again. I believe. I, believe. I, belong. I belong. I serve sacrificially. I serve, I serve sacrificially. I serve. Every member of your body sacrifices for this body. Every member. The feet has, have been sacrificing the whole day. Your feet. They have been sacrificing the whole day from you woke up at five, some of, uh, some of you, and you were on your feet up until now. Your feet brought you here. Even though you use the car, but your feet, they sacrifice every day. Amen. Even though they will complain, uh, if again, your feet must still work. So every member of your body is sacrificing. Your eyes have been sacrificing, looking staring at things and some of the things uh, that you, the, the eyes get to see are things that the eyes should not be seeing but these eyes have been sacrificing and they have been looking for you and, and serving you so the local church therefore if it has members in you and me the, the local church has to then benefit from these members that's why I say I believe I, be, I, I believe I belong and then I serve sacrificially.